What's up everyone? So I wanted to show you guys my bronzer collection. I want to talk through the best, the worst. What's a dupe? Um, what are we getting rid of? I really need to declutter this. I was actually pretty surprised at how many bronzers I had. And again, I know reviewing makeup, like that's a part of my job. So, but even still, I was pulling ones from the back of my little drawer and I'm like, I didn't even know I still had this. So this is exactly the video that I need to do. I need to declutter. I'm sure I'll probably get rid of half things that are old, things I just don't like. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chat through my entire bronzer collection. I'm excited for this video. I just did this for blush last month. So if you wanna check that one out, I will link it down below and up in that little eye there if you want to see that. Cause that, similar thing. I had an entire drawer of blush and I got rid of more than half and it was such a good feeling, but I definitely have some like absolute favorites in there. So uh, yeah, let's just dive into my bronzer collection. All right, here we are. So I pulled, this truly did fill an entire drawer, which was wild to me because I used the same like four or five bronzers. <laughs> and some of these were just trapped in the back that I just, they've been forgotten to time. So let's kind of organize these. I'm gonna categorize them by like cream and liquid and powder. I think that should be good. We might need to, categorize further, but we'll see. All right, we've got 23 powder bronzers here. That's what we're gonna start with. I'm actually filming in my daughter's room and <laughs> because it's way brighter in here. It's just funny, because if you could see around me, there's literally <laughs> just toys and clothes everywhere. All right, so I wanted to start with powder because cream bronzers that are like in a compact like this are definitely my favorite. So that's kind of harder for me to go through. So let's talk powder bronzers. Some of my all-time favorites this is like the easiest keep. I've repurchased this. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It. It's in the shade light. For my skin tone, I feel like I can just go crazy with this and it always looks so nice. It never looks orange. It's definitely got a really neutral tone. If they ever discontinued this, I would be brokenhearted. So that is a very obvious keep. I went through one and repurchased it, which never happens for me with bronzer. All right, now I've got some makeup wipes. Okay. Another one I really enjoy is the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. This is the Freshwear line. I just feel like this is really creamy for a powder. It always looks pretty even going on. Again, this one, it's maybe a little more warm than the other one I just showed you. This one is dirty, but it is in the shade 200. Fair. So those are two really good drugstore ones, but like they're top tier, regardless of the fact that they happen to be drugstore prices, you know? This is one I've had for a while and I, I do think it's good quality. I just don't reach for it often anymore. It's this Ulta three in one quad or quad <laughs> trio. I, I don't know, it's actually really pretty. I'm like thinking to myself right now, I really should reach for this more often. The bronzer portion is very shimmery. And so I think that's part of it. I really like the way the blush looks, but the bronzer just is maybe too glowy for what I like. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it, but I do think it's good. And if you, especially if you like a glowy bronzer, you would really like this. I'm actually really sad about this one. This one's from Guerlain and it is their terracotta bronzer. I bought it in, of all places, Disney World at the Grand Floridian Resort because they have like a random little selection of Guerlain products. And I was so excited because I don't know that I'd ever tried this. I got the shade two medium cool, which is not at all a cool tone. And I let the um, salesperson talk me out of the shade I'd originally picked, which would have been a better shade. She was like, no, no, you wanna go a little darker. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, see, this is where I should have been like, I know what I need, thank you. <laughs> Either way, uh, it's not the right shade. I can't return it at this point, but I'm really sad about it because it's such a very expensive, really nice bronzer. So maybe one day I'll get the right shade. But yeah, you, I mean, that is like so, so orange compared to my skin tone. It just doesn't work the way I want it to, so. Very sad to say goodbye to that, but I've tried to wear it a couple times and I cannot make it work. This one's new to my collection, the Makeup Forever Artist Sculpt Bronzer. I think it's nice, but I don't think it's anything special necessarily. So this is not something I'm like dying to use all the time, but I have been using it. It blends in pretty nicely, but I don't like this better than this. Not that these are at all the same, but like, I just, I love this L'Oreal one. But I'm gonna keep it because it is still newer to me. I love the Silky Matte Bronzer from Milani. I just did, oh no, it's cracked. 
Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can kind of like, oh no, I'm pushing it and cracking it more locations. Oh boy. This is kind of light. I really like that. Um, you, the theme is I like obviously like bronzers that are only slightly darker than my skin tone. I just did a Milani best and worst and this was on there in the best category. So I'll link that video if you wanna see more, but it's so good. It's so silky. It, it, I mean, it's literally called the silky matte. It really is. It blends in easily and it looks pretty. So I'm gonna keep it, but I guess I'm gonna, I might have to repress that at some point. We'll see. Gotta also keep in mind how old some of these are. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I feel like this Milani one's kind of old anyway. It's 12 months which please I definitely keep powder longer than that but I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because it, it no I I should just throw it away I know how old it is and it's like I had this probably pre-pandemic it's probably like four or five years old so I think I might get rid of that one these Haley's Beauty ones I love you guys know the Haley's brush I love a couple products from them actually these I thought were okay but they just aren't special and I don't find myself needing to reach for these often. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. This Kosas one, again, it's super glowy. I love Kosas powder so much, but I have tried to make this work. I think it can almost be a pretty, like this shade would be a pretty peach blush on me. <laughs> now I'm like tempted to use it that way. But yeah, it's just one of those products that I don't find myself reaching for. I'm gonna move this to my vanity, try to use it as a, a blush because that literally looks like peach blushes that I have and if I don't use it in that way I'll get rid of it because I recently repurchased this to try it and I'm, I'm just still not loving it this one's still newer to me and also dirty it's from house labs it is the power sculpt velvet bronzer this one is interesting because it almost feels creamy I mean it's definitely not but it, it really does have this velvety feel to it this is hit or miss for some people I think if you kind of have a brush and you tap it directly in instead of wiping it around it can look really pretty I think it's because of the texture of it um, but I think if you're wiping it around with like a big brush it's not gonna apply the way you probably want it so my little tip if you've tried this, but I do like the way it looks and I honestly feel like this kind of got lost in my collection there. These are pretty old. The Physicians Formula Butter Cake and Butter Coffee Bronzers. These are so cute. The Butter Cake one has a little bit more glow to it and then the Butter Coffee um, is just a little bit more of like a standard. They, I think, did this one have like an overlay or something? I'm trying to remember. They smell really, really good, but I've had these for a while now. I feel like I'm not reaching for them as much as I used to. Again, the butter cake one is definitely gonna give a glow. So just be aware of that. It's time to get rid of my Bare Minerals Faux Tan. This is super old. This is a loose bronzer, so it is kind of interesting. You have to be careful with it, but when it works, it works. So I would consider getting this again. I could also see myself getting it again and doing a shade lighter but I think the formula is really, really nice, but it's got to go. This e.l.f. bronzer is super old, Forever Sun Kiss. It's so good, but uh, it's time for this one to go. Um, same goes for, oh, this one. Oh my gosh, Flower Heat Wave I've had for a long time. Now this one is kind of cool because it has a cool tone to it, like almost gray. And so, well, but see there, it looks almost rosy. But it's interesting on the skin, but I have not found myself reaching for this in a while and it's super old. This one I feel like is really actually pretty decent. It's called Glow. It's like from Revolution, but it's their Revolution Glow and it's their matte bronzer. I'm like, that is incredibly confusing. I just don't reach for it. I've got plenty of other bronzers, so I think it's good, but not like, I don't know, Oscar worthy. <laughs> swoon worthy some of these i've had for so long all right this hourglass one this is the ambient lighting edit mini i forgot that i had this this is one i found in the back and i was like oh. so i want to use this again get some use out of it because it's not that old and it is so gorgeous and i like they're smaller and sometimes that bothers me because i'm like i can't like especially with the bronzer i feel like i can't really like dig my brush in there but it's nice if you don't go through powder very often it feels a little less weird wasteful I don't know anyway I'm gonna keep this I want to try to actually give it some use the essence Sun Club is really good as I talked about in that video I just have so many like big bronzers or like bronzers I like I'm like I just don't need all of these and so I think I'm gonna pass it on but it is absolutely a great bronzer I love my Too Faced milk chocolate matte bronzer I love the packaging of this I think it is so cute magnetizes clothes, it smells like chocolate. The milk chocolate for my skin tone definitely works the best. What's funny is I don't think that like the formula is like the most special thing in the world, but I just enjoy using it. 
ever since I repurchased it recently, I've been using it all of the time. So there you go. I think it blends in pretty nicely too. Ah, oh, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I don't know what to do about this. I also have the cream one we'll talk about in a minute. I, I, I don't have the heart to get rid of it yet. It's, it's older, but I don't think it's so old. I do think it's nice. I have the shade two. I'm trying to remember if I've ever tried the shade one, cause this is a pretty good bronzer shade for me, but this can like really pack a punch. Um, so I feel like I have to be careful with it. See that? I don't know. Let's, I'm going to make a maybe pile. This is pretty old. The Charlotte Tilbury duo. I'm, I've traveled so much with this, like this thing, it is the film star bronze and glow has gotten so much love from me over the years, like pains me to get rid of it. You know, the bronzer is so light though. Oh, that's actually showing up. I feel like a lot of times when I'm using my brush, it doesn't show up as well. I would consider buying this again, 30 months. This is like really, really old. I don't know if I'm ready to part with it yet though. You know, I might put it in my vanity, give it a little more use. I don't, I don't have the heart to get rid of it yet. This is so unlike me feeling sentimental. All right. Kevin Aquan contour powder and medium is a staple. I've repurchased this so many times. It's like one of those products that is a makeup artist favorite from years back. And it's truly a, an actual contour shade. So I'm going to keep that. And then the Hoola bronzer mini, I think I'm going to pass on. I do love that benefit makes these minis, but I find this shade of Hoola I've been leaning into like, I'm like, maybe the Hoola light would work better for me. So I'm just going to pass it on while it's still new. Cause I know someone like one of my sisters should probably love to have this. All right. We're doing pretty good. We're getting rid of a lot so far. Let's do like liquid bronzers next. Okay. So this I know is old, the bionic bronzer. This is the shade time travel. They I'm pretty sure still make these, but it always, yeah, it always separates. So that's just something, you know, a lot of these do, but I remember thinking this was like nice enough, but I don't think the wear time was great. And so, you know, I didn't reach for it often. Same goes for the butter glow liquid bronzer. I think it's actually a pretty product. It's just the wear time it would wear off. It also was very like, once it was blended in, it was very low key. So I don't know. Sometimes I feel like this would just be better used as a mix in to maybe like darken a foundation than it would be on its own. It definitely gives the vibes of those products that are out that where you like mix in, but I feel like this pulls just a little too warm for me. So even if I were to use it that way, it might not be quite what I want. So now I'm kind of tempted to try it though. You know, let me think about this one as well. Cause there, there's a part of me that's like, I should try and just see, even if I just mix it on my hand, see if it does what I want. Um, okay. The elf halo glow wands. I'm going to keep the cooler toned one in fair light and get rid of the warmer toned one. So to swatch these for you, I've said before, I think these are good. I just, am, I don't know that I'm convinced that they're worth the hype that they got when they first launched, but I don't think they're bad products. Big difference in the tones there. So this, I mean, this one truly is more of a bronzer and that's a contour, but I feel like I don't have a lot of liquid contours like that that are truly more gray. So I'm interested to keep that. So we'll keep the gray toned uh, fair light and get rid of light medium. This is too dark. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Contour, I really, really like the shade number one, I wanna say. Shade number three is way too dark, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But I recently retried this and was so surprised by the formula. So if you find a shade that works for you, this is one of the best ones I have tried. That's like in this format. I'm gonna keep the KVD Liquid Gel Contour. This stuff is so cool because it looks like almost scary dark compared to my skin tone when I'm applying it. But then when you blend it in, it looks so pretty and it's kind of like, is she wearing bronzer? Like I can't totally tell, but it's there. So I don't think this is the product for everyone, but I think if you like more like minimal low key makeup, you might really like this. I've always loved the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour wand. This one's in fair medium. This is a definite keep. And then this iconic London, I felt like this was too light. It's their sheer bronze. So it's similar to the KVD one. I always hear iconic London and think it's a drugstore brand. And then I look it up and it's not I'm like, Oh, okay. Wait, this tone is perfect. Well, I was like, it actually looks more neutral until you blend it out. And then it looks a little more, but it definitely is sheer. So I kind of want to try this out some more. I feel like this got swallowed up by my collection. And I, I don't even remember using this, honestly. All right, let's do stick cream bronzers. Okay. I don't love the makeup by Mario bronzer stick, but so 
what shade is this? Light medium. So many people I watch love this. So, you know, there's always the part of me that is the makeup trier outer that I'm like, well, maybe, hold on, why is this not going up? Okay, well, first of all, it's like all dried out. How do you get it to go up? I don't know. It's just, I mean, look at, look closely at this. I feel like it's like all dried and cracked and weird and I can't, like, I feel like the packaging's maybe broken. So I'm, I'm just gonna, this one's gotta go. It's just gotta go. I keep making excuses for it because so many people I know like it. I can't figure out how to use it and make it work for me. So, um, same, this Essence Baby Got Bronze is pretty good, but this is way too gray. <laughs> way too gray. It'd be great for Halloween makeup. Like if you're, you know, something that's maybe not alive, that <laughs> actually would be great. The ColourPop Bronze Stick. This shade is really nice. It's in Laguna Beach and it's kind of lighter. It's still new to me. So I feel like I'm still kind of trying it out. It definitely is more emollient than like the Makeup by Mario one I just showed you, which I definitely prefer ones that are a little easier to work with, a little easier to blend. I also have been recently trying these Persona ones, but I certainly only need one shade, which would be that one. So this is the shade Dune. It's definitely more, um, oh wow. That is a lot more orangey tone than this one here. So this one's the shade Mojave and it is just lighter really. I guess it still is warm, but not nearly as orange tinted and lighter. So I've really been enjoying this again, very easy to blend in. I'll take my brush and tap it right on here and then tap it onto the skin. It works so well that way. So the other shade can go. The Rare Beauty ones, I want to love. And again, see, yeah, like that is an easy no. So that is in the shade Power Boost and it's just a little orangey for my taste. I've said that like a hundred times. I know I'm annoying myself. This is in Happy Soul which is even more, it's a little bit deeper. So I think that's the issue. The formula is good. I cannot get a shade that works great for me. I feel like Power Boost would be closer, like, but it, I don't know. So maybe I'll hold on. See, this is my problem. That's not, Power Boost is not that different than that one there that I am keeping. So I'm like, mm, maybe, so let me, let me think for a sec. One that I can easily get rid of is this stupid, stupid one from OG. I was totally sucked in by Facebook ads where they're showing them do it like using all sticks for their face and it looks amazing. I got the bronzer, I got the blush. It's still newer to me. So I'm like, well, maybe um, this is not a good product. It is super glowy, which is just kind of odd for this. It does not blend in easily. It's a little bit dry. It's tinted kind of gold. It, it, it doesn't stay long. It just looks splotchy and patchy. Like I could not believe how bad this was. So that's an easy goodbye. I'm really sad about it. I might put it to the side to be able to mention in like a fails video, but beyond that. And then this is newer to me and I'm really liking it. The um, Milk Sculpt Stick and Toasted. Again, it's a tone thing for me that I really like that tone. Whew, stretch those legs out. All right, now let's talk cream compact bronzers. My favorite version. This is gonna be hard for me because I genuinely love these. My absolute favorite of all time ever, ever, that I would repurchase in a moment if I lost it or it were gone and it is nearly gone, is the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Laguna 01. Again, it is a toned thing. Like for my skin, this looks flawless every single time. There's no way to screw this product up. I literally just take whatever brush, I dip it right in there, apply it directly to my face. It always looks airbrushed and perfect. There's no learning curve. And I, I think that's it. I get impatient with other bronzers because I'm like, if I know there are bronzers like this that exist that work so well, so easily, why would I mess around with other ones? So this is like, if you were to glean one thing from this video, this is the best cream bronzer that exists, period, point blank nothing has defeated it. However, I do have a few others I also really like. And so if the price point deters you, I have some other ones that are really close that are so good that are a lot less expensive. So stay with me. This is so similar. It's the Tower 28 Sculptino in the shade Broad. I feel like tone wise here, I didn't even swatch. I'll swatch the NARS one too. So this is the Tower 28 one. Also, whoops, I've got another one here to add in to say. So there's the NARS one. It is so perfectly neutral and it's it's creamy, but not so creamy that it's sliding all around. And I think that's the other piece of the magic for that. The Tower 28 is a little bit creamier. And of course this tone is not the same, but it gives a very similar finish to the skin. I feel like it's just as easy to blend in. 
So, and it's probably half the price of the NARS one. So I wanted to recommend that one as well. I love it. I'm definitely keeping that. Another one I really like is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. You will see that I also love this. Pit pan on it. Cream bronzers are my jam right now. So this one is in the shade Light Medium. It's definitely darker than the NARS one. Here's the thing. This one almost shears out. So you can kind of even see just like as I'm scrubbing, like scrubbing, as I'm wiping it, it kind of shears out, but in this really flattering way, I it's it's bizarre. I don't really have any other ones like this other than maybe this Danessa Myricks one we'll talk about in a second. So also a big fan of this. This, however, is around the same price as the NARS. And if I'm comparing the two, I will pick NARS every time, but I love this. This is also a really nice cream blush formula as well. This was like one of the OG cream bronzers from a few years ago that made me fall in love with cream bronzers. It's from Say and it's the Sun Melt cream bronzer. I love this stuff. I think it is so, again, similar to the NARS. It's easy to use. It blends in nicely. You can't really screw it up. I just love it. And I love that it's a big old pan. So if you've got your stippling brush or whatever it is you're using, which by the way, I can link below my favorite few cream bronzer brushes. I have a few, they're very specific. The one that always comes to mind right away is the Haley's Beauty one, because that is definitely my most used and you can get it on Amazon. So I'll link that specific one because that is what I use with all of these cream bronzers and it, it works perfectly every time. So, because um, I feel like cream bronzers can be hard to get the right brush with, you know? But anyway, love this as well. Like these are just like all my faves right here. Mm. So another OG one is, well, and again, this is only from a few years ago, but the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. This I loved, oh, it's starting to get a little bit older, but it's a little more matte than the other ones that I've shown you. So if you don't like them to kind of be too emollient, this will probably be exactly what you want. It's definitely a little more matte than the NARS one too. It's beautiful. It does not budge once you put it on, which I think is amazing too. Danessa Myricks makes some really good bronzers. Another one I love, I've been using a lot, is this other one from her called the Contour Balm. So this is the shade Light One. This is a lot more emollient than the Power Bronzer but you can really kind of sheer it out as you're blending if you want. A little bit can go a long way. I can even use like a fluffier brush with this, which is weird because I've never done it, but it picks up just enough product. So I love both of these. I've actually found myself reaching for the contour balm more often than I do the power bronzer nowadays. Okay, the rose ink one has got to go. This is, this feels like such a, oh my gosh, it's so dry. Uh -oh. I wish you could feel, I'm literally, so we need to get past this weird top layer right now. If I even can, oh my gosh. It's just, it, it's always felt dry. Like obviously that was some weird film at this point because it's getting a little older, but it's always been a little drier. It's not been as easy to apply. I felt like it's been kind of dry and patchy and it makes me so sad because the packaging of this is so, I know everyone jokes that it looks like a toilet seat, which it totally does, but I do think it's really, really pretty. So, you know, this is the shade Kawaii if you were curious, but I don't recommend that one. <laughs> so stop being curious. <laughs> Revolution. This is such a lovely cream bronzer. This is definitely the cheapest of the cream bronzers that I mentioned. It's their Ultra Cream Bronzer in Light. It is very emollient. It smells like, is it pineapple I'm smelling? Something like that. It's just pretty. A little bit does go a long way. So I feel like you can really like, with some of them, I'll dip my brush in a few times. This is like dip it once and you'll be able to blend it on your entire face. But again, the staying power for this is pretty darn good. You just have to be a little more careful with it. So I feel like as long as you know that going into it, it's a great, great cream bronzer. That one surprised me. I'm kind of surprised I really, like where are all the cream bronzers from the Big Daddy drugstore brands? Like where, don't you feel like there's no compact cream bronzer from any of those brands? Can you name one? I can't think of a single one. So I'll be curious. I feel like that time's gotta be coming, but where are they? This is the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. Again, I'm not quite ready to get rid of it. This is, okay, 24 months. Oh my gosh. What shade is this? This is in two medium. Maybe that's part of the problem too. It's too dark. I'm gonna get rid of it, but with the knowledge that perhaps one day I will try this again and get the shade one, the thing is, this is almost more like a cream to powder. Like it's a cream, but it pretty quickly becomes kind of powdery, 
which is cool. And I feel like that means it lasts a little bit longer, but I just have to be way too careful with it. And so that's why I never reach for it. So I just, I need to be honest with myself. This can go, perhaps someday I'll get the other shade, but today is not that day, you yeah, know? All right, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. I feel like these are okay. They're just not my favorite, but it stinks because th there's nothing really like so wrong with them. The luminous one can be really pretty, but it's a little more luminous than I typically go. So that's one that I, I can probably just get rid of. Um, the, oh no, this one's also luminous. Oh, that's right, but it was the different tone. Yeah, that is definitely a different tone. I just don't reach for these often enough. I just don't think there's a reason. I've already done my e.l.f. best and worst as well. Like I said, I don't think these are bad. And honestly, if you're picking between the regular putty bronzer and the luminous, I feel like the luminous is a little bit easier to work with, to be honest, but you have to also be okay with that slightly luminous sheen to it. By the way, those two shades were, Summer Fridays was the more like bronzer shade and the grayish tone one was vacay mood. This has been a thorn in my side. I think the idea of this is cool. This kind of reminds me of the old school. I mean, they're they're not really old school in, in an actual makeup artist kit, but like, I feel like makeup artist kit type products like this were really popular like 10 years ago when I first started. So it's cool to see this again, but I don't love the formula of any of this. None of it's like so terrible, but none of it is so great. Definitely my favorite thing in this, I didn't even tell you, it's the Makeup Forever HD Skin All-in-One Face Palette. My favorite things in here are the blushes, but again, they're pretty bright and I have plenty. If you saw my blush collection, I have plenty of brush, uh, blushes like that, but I'm also not quite ready to get rid of it. So I wanna use it a little bit more. It's still so new and this was, you know, it's a pricey product. Okay, we went through it all. So let me show you what I'm getting rid of and what we're keeping and give you some actual like final numbers if you're just curious. All right, we've got 27 here we're getting rid of. I did end up bringing the Kosas one in here cause I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna end up using it as a peach blush. I know myself, I won't do it. So this, and again, this is still newer. So I, I figure someone in my life will be excited to have that. So that's a lot to get rid of. Some of them are going directly in the trash. Some of them are still newer and can be passed on, but that is a good feeling to get all of this stuff out of the collection. All right, we've got 25 things here we're keeping plus the Milani one that's like like this. So 26 if you include that one, I gotta find where that is. But anyway, I mean, we cut it in half basically. That is amazing. And again, every single thing here other than like this that I'm still trying out and this I'm still trying out, like everything makes me happy. It's stuff I really enjoy using. The shades are right for me. Just a really good feeling. So there you have it, my new bronzer collection. Yay! So I hope you enjoyed. If you are into this style of video where I show a whole category, we declutter it together, we talk through the products and swatch them, I will link my playlist below, my like decluttering collection playlist. I think you'll be into it if you were into this and I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.